Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 20th Fall Commencement Ceremony of Washington State University. The processional will now begin. Entering the Coliseum and leading the processional is Faculty Senate Chair David Turnbull, bearing the University Mace, a traditional symbol of authority. His honor guard includes Gina Vasquez. The Associated Students of Washington State University, Global President, and Jennifer Johnson, President of the Graduate and Professional Students Association. This ceremony recognizes students from the College of Agricultural, Human, and Natural Resource Sciences with 63 undergraduates, which includes 19 from the School of the Environment, a joint program between the College of Agricultural, Human, and Natural Resource Sciences, and the College of Arts and Sciences, with 12 masters and four doctoral graduates. The College of Arts and Sciences, with 223 undergraduates, nine masters, and five doctoral graduates. The Carson College of Business, with 103 undergraduates, and 48 professional degree candidates. The Edward R. Murrow College of Communication with 45 undergraduates, six masters, and one doctoral graduate. The College of Education with 20 undergraduates, two masters, and four doctoral graduates. The Voiland College of Engineering and Architecture with 90 undergraduates, 20 masters, and seven doctoral graduates. The Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine with four masters candidates. The College of Nursing with 74 undergraduates and one doctoral graduate. The College of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences with one professional degree candidate, one master's and one doctoral graduate. And the College of Veterinary Medicine with seven undergraduates and one doctoral graduate. All of our graduates today will be Cougar alums. Now entering the President's Platform Party made up of Washington State University College Deans, a Regent, and the Provost and the President. Matthew Jockers, Dean, College of Arts and Sciences. Chip Hunter, Dean, Carson College of Business. Bruce Pinkleton, Dean, the Edward R. Murrow College of Communication.
Michael Trevison, Dean, College of Education. Lisa Gloss, Dean of the Graduate School. Mary Rizak, Dean of the Voiland College of Engineering and Architecture. Saeed Daoud, Associate Professor, College of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. William Davis, Associate Dean, College of Veterinary Medicine. Brett Blankenship, WSU Regent, Vice Chair. Elizabeth Chilton, Provost and Executive Vice President. Kirk Schultz, President of Washington State University. Please rise for the national anthem performed by Julie Ann Wick, Associate Professor, School of Music. Please be seated. The Washington State University alma mater, Washington My Washington, will be performed by WSU choral students Kayla Ray, Christina Gomnitz, Jared Peterson, and Bryce Weber. The virtual performance was also created by Bryce Weber. Washington! WSU family and friends, please welcome Dr. Kirk Schultz, President of Washington State University. Good morning, Coug Nation. As President of Washington State University, I'd like to welcome you and congratulate the final graduating class of 2020. I know most of you would prefer to be in person, and I know that we're here today, so while you're at home with family and friends, I'm gonna ask you on the count of three to give us a big, hearty Go Cougs. One, two, three, Go Cougs. Commencement is the highlight of each academic semester of this great university. 
Today, we recognize the commitment our graduates have made to the betterment of themselves and our world. I say that from the bottom of my heart, for you have persevered in the face of one of the most challenging times in modern history to reach this milestone moment in your life. Graduates, as we gather today for this celebration, I'm inspired by your undertakings and ambitions. You've accomplished much in nearly every academic field imaginable. You have big dreams for the future. We enthusiastically welcome you to the ranks of WSU alumni, and we send you into a world that greatly needs your minds and hearts. Current events have reminded us there is so much happening in the world that needs fixing. Disease, extreme poverty, religious strife, sexual discrimination, and unimaginable violence. The list is long. But I'm here today to tell you there are many reasons for hope. It's that hopefulness, better known as cougar spirit, that defines this university and binds us together. For me, cougar spirit is embodied by an unsatiable curiosity about the world combined with a never say die attitude and willingness to work hard to succeed no matter the obstacles. It's a spirit that you, the class of 2020, have demonstrated day in and day out on your path to this moment. It's a spirit I've observed every day for the past four years I have served as WSU's president. It's a spirit for hopefulness that manifests itself in the good work being done by our faculty, students, staff, by our alumni, and by our friends. The examples of compassion, dedication, selflessness, patience, and kindness I've witnessed have inspired and humbled me. Without a doubt, the world needs your cougar spirit more than ever, and your willingness to confidently step up and tackle our shared challenges fills me with hope, hope for today and hope for our future. In my role, I've met many of you, and you are absolutely incredible and amazing. Interacting with you is one of the great joys of serving as a university president. Our shared cougar spirit is at the core of what makes this institution as fantastic and life-changing as it is. Washington State University is about its people, people who bring their diverse backgrounds and life experiences to unite behind causes greater than themselves. Am I an optimist? Yes, there's no doubt about it. But I see the world that way because I know how hard this community and all of you our 2020 graduates work to succeed every day. The potential is unlimited. As we celebrate today, let us look toward each other for continued inspiration in the years ahead. May WSU and the Cougar family continue to be your fountain of hope as we face the future. Congratulations, graduates, and as always, go Cougs. The WSU Board of Regents is the university's governing body and it gives me great pleasure to ask the Regent Vice Chair, Brett Blankenship, to the podium. Thank you, President Schultz. Hello and welcome. It's indeed a great day to be a Coug, and it, what an honor it is to be with you all today to celebrate your success at Washington State University. Now at this point of your academic life, you've no doubt been exposed to many things and wonder what else can someone possibly teach you. I wanted to share something you would have learned in high mathematics. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line, a quote attributed to Archimedes. However, now you're starting real life and going from point A to point B may not be quite so simple. The good news is you're a generation where virtually all of you have one of these, a cell phone or personal device. And we often use those when we drive, and I'll use the driving application as, as an analogy. And the great thing about using Alexa or Siri is you can almost never be lost. If you make a wrong turn, Siri says, recalculating. And it doesn't matter how many wrong turns you may make. The device says, recalculating. And there's always a way forward. There's always a pathway to get to where you need to go. And I'll, I'll tell you a secret. 
All the people on the podium with me today, these distinguished deans and academic leaders, there's been a lot of recalculating over the years. Your device never says, you're lost. You can't get there from here. Alexa never gives up, and neither should you. There's always a pathway forward. So as you go on your journey from Washington State University, whenever your phone says recalculating, please remember today and don't be afraid to make the necessary adjustment, adjustments to get to where you need to go. And now as President Schultz gets ready to continue the ceremony on behalf of all the regents, I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you for choosing Washington State University. Go Kooks. A tradition we have at the fall commencement ceremony is to give the newest regent their medallion and recognize their dedication to WSU and the Cougar community. It's my pleasure to introduce our student regent, Arlie Cannonan, remote from Hawaii. Arlie, it's a great honor to present to you the regent's medallion, no matter how far away, and welcome you as a newest member of the board. Thank you, President Schultz. First and foremost, I want to congratulate all the students on their achievement. This is your day. I hope and pray that you're all doing well, that you're safe, and that you find success in all your endeavors following WSU. This has been quite a hard semester, but please let us serve as a reminder to you at how tough and diligent you are. Please make sure that you celebrate no matter how small because you've worked so hard to get to this point. You are a kook for life. I'm proud to be your regent and congratulations again. Go Cougs. So no matter where you are, please join me in a nice round of applause, recognizing our regents and the important role they play in guiding our university. Now, it's my distinct pleasure to turn the program over to Dr. Elizabeth Chilton, Provost and Executive Vice President of Washington State University. Provost Chilton. Hello graduates, it's an honor to join you for this historic celebration of your accomplishments at WSU and to welcome you as alumni of this great university. This is a particularly special uh, commencement ceremony for me since this is my first as the Chief Academic Officer for the WSU system. We plan on celebrating with you again when we are able to have in-person ceremonies and all are invited to return to attend in person. We look forward to the regalia, the tassels, the graduation march, and celebrations with family and friends. I imagine that you will remember your final semester at WSU as an extremely challenging and stressful time, and I'm sure that you never imagined your time at WSU would include hours of Zoom sessions, wearing face masks, attesting that you are not sick or self-quarantining, we will remember the resilience and dedication shown by Coogs time and time again. I have come to know and appreciate our tight-knit uh, and supportive Coog community, even in the face of challenges unlike anything any of us have experienced before. I know that you received a world-class education here at WSU, and your time has prepared you for your future careers and for your lives. We all know that life is not a straight line, as Regent Blankenship was just saying, and I am confident that you are well prepared to face all the many twists and turns and opportunities that life has to offer you. As you move into this next stage of life, please hold on to your Coog spirit. Even if you're not on campus or in classes every day, be proud to wear crimson and gray, come back to campus, visit your professors, and cheer on your fellow Cougs. A major part of the university experience is expanding the network of people who are invested in your success. Take heart in knowing that as a WSU alumnus, you are a valued member of an incredible network of people, 
And I hope you'll find, as I have, that Coogs Helping Coogs doesn't just apply during your time as a student, but throughout your life. Finally, as one of the newest members of the WSU community, I am proud to say to all of you, go Coogs. Now to welcome the final class of 2020, I am pleased to introduce Jennifer Johnson, President of the Graduate Professional Student Association, Gina Vasquez, President of the Associated Students of Washington State University Global and joining us remotely, Curtis Cohen, President of the Associated Students of Washington State University, and Doug Wilcox, President of the Washington State University Alumni Association. Jen. Thank you, Provost Shelton. Hello, WSU graduates. My name is Jennifer Johnson, and I am the president of the Graduate and Professional Student Association here at Washington State. I wanted to say that on behalf of the GPSA, congratulations on reaching this amazing milestone. It is a remarkable accomplishment. All of the long days and seemingly endless nights have culminated in this moment where you can look back and celebrate every step of your journey. It's a pleasure to speak to the graduate and professional students receiving their degrees. You are part of a special group that represents someone who chose to spend the past 20 plus years in education so that you can help solve the problems of the future. While it may feel like you're being ejected into a world of uncertainty, know that we are confident that your time here at WSU has equipped you to navigate those challenges in the months and years that lie ahead. It may not feel like it, but you are all experts in your fields. For some, the thought at that notion might be one of terror, but know that you are able to do anything. This process was designed to challenge how you think, how you plan, how you work. You have met those challenges and you have persevered. You've come out on the other side, able to tackle any challenge the world has to offer. While this is likely the end of school for most of you, do not let it be the end of your education. You will go on to guide cutting edge research, you'll improve life-saving technology, you will fight for social justice causes, and you will positively contribute to the global community. With your newly developed skills and leadership, I implore you to use them for good. Help lift up those around you who are not given the same opportunity. To the undergrads, thank you for your spirit, your enthusiasm, and your commitment to learn alongside us. To the graduate and professional students, your work and efforts have been impactful. You have paved the way for the next group to continue to make meaningful contributions. My hope for each and every one of you is that the challenges and triumphs you have faced during your graduate experience will continue to shape and influence you wherever life takes you next. Commencement represents the completion of one chapter and the beginning of a new one just as promising as the last. Enjoy this moment, enjoy this milestone. Once again, congratulations on your academic achievements. GPSA wishes you the best of luck moving forward. And of course, go Kooks. This year has presented a series of unpredictable and historical challenges. As a community, we have endured despite these circumstances. I must admit that I am still grieving the loss of the experience my senior year would have offered had the world not been impacted by this devastating health and social crisis. Although this is small in comparison to the losses the members of our WSU community have faced as some have lost loved ones, are still recovering from the fires that ravaged the Pacific Northwest and have had their financial, emotional, and psychological stability shaken. A blinding light has been shed on the issues that we face as a society, such as multicultural intolerance and lack of access to proper health care, but not limited to these aspects of our reality. In continuing to take these challenges head on, we have also showed how strong and adaptable we truly are. I am honored and proud to be a part of such a resilient student body. I have seen student leaders unite to find ways to support, engage with, and advocate for their student bodies. The courage it takes to continue to persevere is remarkable and a quality that will prepare us all for the challenges to come. As a WSU Global student, I'm grateful for the flexible and accommodating experience that this campus offers its students. For those who are not aware, the average age of global campus students is 30. These are students who are in the thick of their lives and have chosen to pursue higher education to better themselves and the people around them. Many of our students are parents and work full-time jobs. Some have been working with the public in businesses, hospitals, and as first responders. Others have lost their jobs, had to become homeschool teachers, or relocate, if not all the above. In the face of adversity, you have persevered. I congratulate you, our global campus graduates, for this milestone accomplishment. 
While graduating college is impressive in its own right, let this accomplishment serve as a symbol of your own grit, work ethic, and unwavering commitment to achieving what you set your mind to. While you may not be where you yet wish to be, find a moment to be thankful for where you are and what you have accomplished thus far. Congratulations, Global Campus Cougs. You made it to graduation. Hello everyone, my name is Curtis Cohen and I've had the honor of serving you all as ASWC president this year. I wanna give a warm congratulations to you all for being part of the most resilient and determined graduating class ever. This was not an easy year for anyone and the fact that you are graduating here today exemplifies how Cougs overcome anything. Just as you saw the finish line ahead, we encountered a global pandemic and a sudden shift in our daily and academic life. Together, we dealt with great challenges during quarantine and our online Zoom world. Some of these challenges included dealing with awkward silence as we waited for the meeting host to start the meeting, or even trying to figure out what someone said when the internet glitched out, or even forgetting to mute our mics, which is pretty much the equivalent of clicking reply all on an email. Looking into the future, today marks a celebration of your years here at WSU, an achievement that goes beyond just this school year. You see, there are many graduates out there receiving diplomas from their respective schools, but at the end of the day, it is a remarkable and exciting accomplishment to be a WSU graduate. While today marks the end of your college experience, it also marks the beginning of an exciting journey, a journey in which you all join a crowd of Cougar alumni, all of which who share the same experience and spirit as you. Going to a school in the middle of the Palouse, also the homeland of the Nez Perce tribe and Palouse people, gave us the opportunity to focus on one another and the communities around us, fostering that Cougar spirit very few can boast. At the end of the day, Cougs make our world a better place. The genuine and determined personalities and perseverance of this graduating class will go on and accomplish great things in our world. Once again, congratulations and go Cougs! Congratulations to you, the graduating class of 2020. As president of the Alumni Association, it's my honor to be among the first to welcome you to the Cougar Alumni family, a family that is over 215,000 strong. The next few years are full of promise and opportunity, and having the support of the Cougar family during this time is critical. To get your life after graduation started, we are proud to give you a free three-year membership. The Alumni Association has 54 chapters and clubs across the United States, making it easy to find and stay connected to your fellow Cougars wherever you go. You can find the chapter and club contacts on our website or on Facebook. This vast Cougar network, network wants to help you succeed in your career and personal pursuits. Once again, congratulations and go Cougs! Thank you, Jennifer, Gina, Curtis and Doug. Today we have a total of 754 students participating in our first virtual fall commencement. There are 625 undergraduate, 49 professional, 56 masters, and 24 doctoral graduates representing 112 different degree fields. Two of these graduates will be commissioned as officers into the United States Armed Forces. The candidates for advanced degrees will be presented by Dr. Lisa Gloss, Dean of the Graduate School. I have my sincere congratulations and best wishes to all the graduates who are, whose accomplishments we are celebrating today. In particular, I want to recognize the tremendous achievements of our graduate students that completed their degrees in the fall and summer semesters. Pursuing an advanced degree is an amazing, difficult, life-changing path that leads to discovery, self-discovery, and growth. Growth for yourself personally and professionally, as well as growth of the knowledge base, research, and scholarship that benefits the human race in so many different ways. Congratulations. You've completed an important phase of your path, and from where you stand now, there are many, so many different fulfilling paths that you can follow. But let's pause and savor the moment. You made it. You made it. Earning a master's or doctoral degree isn't easy in the best of times, but you made it through some of the most challenging situations that a graduate student might ever encounter as you weathered the many professional and personal impacts of life in the time of COVID-19. I sincerely miss the opportunity to shake your hand, hand you your diploma, and share your enthusiasm and joy as you celebrate this milestone. 
Many of my happiest moments as graduate dean and as a faculty are from celebrations as part of commencement ceremonies. I hope it will suffice to say again, congratulations. And please know that we, the WSU faculty, staff, administration, and your fellow students, we are proud of you. President Schultz, from the Graduate School, I am pleased and privileged to present to you one degree candidate from the, for a professional science master's, 54 master's degree candidates, two degree candidates for the Doctor of Education, and 22 Doctor of Philosophy degree candidates. The Edward R. Murrow College of Communication, presented by Dean Bruce Pinkleton. I'm proud of you, Murrow Coogs. 2020 has been a year of adversity, but you've proven you can push through adversity to achieve your goals. Congratulations from me and from the entire faculty and staff of the Murrow College of Communication. Good luck and go Cougs. President Schultz, I take great pleasure in presenting to you the baccalaureate degree candidates from the Edward R. Murrow College of Communication. Upon recommendation of the faculty and by authority of the Board of Regents and the statutes of the state of Washington, I hereby confer upon each of you who fill, fulfill its requirements the degrees for which you've been recommended with all of the privileges and obligations. Congratulations, go Cougs. And now, a personal message from Governor Jay Inslee. Hello, graduates, uh, Governor Jay Inslee here. On behalf of the people of Washington State, I would like to congratulate you on your tremendous achievement. Now, while we can't gather in person, it should not stop us from celebrating what you've accomplished. Earning your degree, I know, has been difficult. It took focus, commitment, hard work, and creativity. But to finish your degree amidst this pandemic is truly remarkable. Not only have you managed to navigate your studies, you've helped protect the people of Washington by staying home, masking up, and keeping your distance. Those uh, sacrifices have saved lives, and I would like to thank you for that. This year has shown the awesome responsibility we all have. As graduates, our world needs your talents. We need your innovation, your brilliance, and your commitment to building a stronger state, country, and world. And I know you are up to that task. You're part of the smartest, most scientifically literate generation in history. But today, I hope that you can take time to safely celebrate all that you've accomplished, protect yourself and those around you, and a big congratulations. Go get them. Davi Coleman. Getting a PhD as a student with a disability shows that you not can only survive, but you can thrive in academia. Thank you for all the support. Go Cougs. Nancy Gutierrez. Ryan Lawfrey. Catherine Muller. Gabriela Mungaro. Joshua Williams. Robert Wyrick. A heartfelt thanks to my friends, family, fellow classmates for helping me get here. Couldn't have made it without you guys. Congrats to my fellow grads as well. Go Cougs. Kate Justine Agbaani. Anissa Ashabi. Kenya Garnica Avila. Ashley Beard. Alex Biviano. Nathan Blackwell. Logan Bledsoe. Kyle Blendheim. 
Marissa Conklin. Eva Dedier. Jillian Desmond. Anthony Douglas. Jason Frederick. Sianna Gittry. Miranda Guler. Aaron Grove. Katie Groves. Phaedra Harmon. Alexander Haupt. Madison Irving. Chadini Jayakant. Bella Kemp. Margaret Kent. Crystal Lobos. Chad Meaner. Dylan Murphy. Chidoze Nuwabo. Isabella Orsilla. Sophia Puchalski. Fabian Rangel. Bronwyn Richard. Alexis Robichaux. Nisreen El Sadoun. Hi everyone, my name is Nisreen and this is my daughter Miriam. She's my number one motivator. I wish you all success. Congrats to all the grads. Anadia Sabrina. Isabella Sally. Cecilia Sanzobrin. Olivia Severino. Shanna Singer. Kainoa Torres. Anna Trendle. Kara Wood. Ashley Wolf. Han Chin Shu. Daniel Yusuf. Sarah Zimmerman. Congratulations. This is so exciting. What an accomplishment. And we are so proud of you. Thank you for all the hard work that you've been doing. It has been such an honor and a privilege to have you in our classes. And I cannot wait to see where you go from here. Congratulations. Murrow Student Services would just like to take a moment to congratulate all of you. You've persevered through such a challenging time. We are so proud of you. Hi, I'm Angela Schwarga, the Career Advisor with Murrow. I just want to say congratulations on earning your degree. Be proud of your accomplishments and best of luck with the next steps on your career path. Remember to stay positive and this job market is looking up. Take care and go Cougs! So Mara Cougs, just take a moment, take it all in. You've accomplished so much and you're at the finish line. This is the time to applaud yourself. Congratulations on this great accomplishment. Two pieces of advice I'd like to leave you with. By default, be a good person take care of people and they'll take care of you. 
And then the second one would be maintain your relationships you've built here. Today's academic peers are gonna be your uh, professional peers tomorrow. Congratulations. Hey, Marl Coogs, we know you're gonna go on to do big things. We're so proud of you. Please come back and see us in the future. We'd love to see you on campus. Congratulations. Well, Coogs, I guess I'm the last one to speak. And all I can say is congratulations. I've missed seeing you over in the Dean's office, grabbing candy off my desk and just talking a little bit. I can say is when you get out there and you become famous, come back and see us and tell us how it is out in the real world. We know that 2020 hasn't been the real world, but we want you to come back and tell us how it is. We miss you and congratulations. Hello, Morrow Coogs. Congratulations on a job well done. You're graduating from the Everett R. Murrow College of Communication in the fall of 2020, a big year, a year that you will always remember. Thank you so much for allowing me to work with you these last few years, and I wish all of you the best of luck. Go Cougs. Congratulations. You did it. All those late nights, all that studying, um, all those great projects have led you to this point. Um, you are receiving your degree that shows that you have learned so much. And guess what? You're gonna do so much more. Um, not only have you learned a lot in our classes, um, you've learned a lot from your four, year, four years or less of being here. Congratulations and go get them. And go Cougs. Congratulations to all our Murrow Cougs. We're so proud of you. I want to take a moment to say congratulations to all of our December graduates. You have done a fantastic job at this difficult time. Murrow graduates, congratulations on a job well done. If I can give you one phrase to live by and I've given you a few over the years, life begins at the edge of your comfort zone. Keep pushing yourself to be uncomfortable. Best of luck and congrats. Congratulations from APEC to the new Cougar alumni. Even though this is being captured in Spokane, Washington, the Washington State Administrative Professionals just across the whole state recognize your tremendous accomplishment and wish you success in all your future endeavors. Go make a difference. Hey Cougs, Jill Creighton here, your Dean of Students. To our class of 2020, congratulations on this tremendous academic achievement. You have earned it. Wherever you happen to be on planet Earth, in the state of Washington or beyond, I hope you're celebrating with loved ones. We look forward to having you back on the Palouse for an in-person commencement sometime in the future. And in the meantime, please stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, and we hope you make your way back home sometime. Go Cougs! Hello and congratulations. I'm Dr. Mark Beatty, Associate Vice Chancellor at WSU Everett. It gives me great pleasure to congratulate you on your commencement. Let's hear it for everyone. Go Cougs! Hey Murrow Cougs, congratulations on your graduation today and welcome to the Murrow alumni family. I'm gonna need you to raise your glass I don't care what you put in it Here's the nights that you can't take back We live hard but we love to laugh and We all thought that we'd get rich fast Hop the plane out for greener grass Found out the green is cash Don't compare to the friends at last See we won't forget where we came from The city won't change us we same drum No, we won't forget where we came from This city can't change us We beat to the same drum The same drum find our way back home. Graduates of the final class of 2020, 
you've earned your academic degree or are now officially part of the Cougar alumni family. Congratulations and go Cougs. It's only fitting we conclude we include this great song in our ceremony, one song that unites Cougs around the world. Let's join Butch and the Cougar Marching Band in the Washington State University fight song. Go Cougs! Congratulations again, class of 2020. Now go out and conquer the world, but don't forget that WSU will always welcome you back home. We hope to see you soon. This concludes our ceremony. Honor Guard and Mace Bearer, please lead the recessional. <laughs>